The Clever Boy and the Terrible, Dangerous Animal by Idris Shaw Illustrated by Rosemary Santiago Once upon a time, there was a very clever boy who lived in a village. Nearby was another village that he had never visited. When he was old enough to be allowed to go about on his own, he thought he would like to see the other village. So one day, he asked his mother if he could go, and she said, Yes, as long as you look both ways before you cross the road. You must be very careful. The boy agreed and set off at once. When he got to the side of the road, he looked both ways. And because there was nothing coming, he knew he could cross safely. And that's just what he did. Then he skipped down the road towards the other village. Just outside that village, he came upon a crowd of people who were standing in a field, and he went up to them to see what they were doing. As he drew near, he heard them saying, Ooh, and ah, and oh, and he saw that they looked quite frightened. He went up to one of the men and said, Why are you saying ooh, and ah, and oh? And why are you all so frightened? Oh, dear me, said the man. There is a terrible, dangerous animal in this field, and we are all very frightened because it might attack us. Where is the terrible, dangerous animal? asked the boy, looking around. Oh, be careful, be careful cried the people. But the clever boy asked again, Where is the terrible, dangerous animal? And so the people pointed to the middle of the field, and when the boy looked where they pointed, he saw a very large... Visit www.hoopokids.com to purchase this book along with other titles in this series of Teaching Stories by Idris Shah. Many of these wonderful books are now available in Spanish and also special editions with the text in both Spanish and English, an excellent resource for working with children for whom English is a second language. Audio versions of the stories are also available on CD. They are read with and without page turn signals so that when your child is ready, he or she can listen to the story being read and follow along with the text, turning the page when the signal indicates. This is a first step to becoming an independent reader. And you can play the audio version without signals while traveling with your child. Children love to listen to stories again and again, and this is a wonderful way for them to do so.